So today I'm having a quick look at something I've never seen before, and it is a retail box Intel SSD. Now that may seem like a weird thing for me to have never seen before, but I haven't. And the reason for that is I've only seen the OEM ones, which come in like a little brown box, you break the seal, it has like a little manual in it and a drive, and that's it. So this is a retail kit, so it includes all of the usual um, information that comes on a retail box. First of all, they tell you the capacity. This is a 40 gig drive from their X25 V series. So the V series is pretty much like the M series, except for a couple key differences. The differences are mostly in terms of, right now, capacity. So the M series is from 80 to 160 gigs, and in terms of performance. Particularly on the sequential reads and writes, the V series does not perform as well as the M series, which, as you'll see if you check out the benchmarks for this drive online, is not actually that important in terms of performance. So a lot of people have found that this brand new V series is a really good compromise between price and performance. So let me see, yeah, they actually cover that on the side here. So they show you that in terms of rugged, silent, solid, okay, they're all the same. In terms of low power, they're all the same, but in terms of performance, it goes from the 40 gig with one check mark to the 80 gig X25M with two check marks to the 160 gig X25M with three check marks. The 160 gig actually does perform a little bit better than the 80 gig, but in terms of real world, I don't think you'd really notice it. So let's get this box opened up, and inside we will find a brown box. Okay, so. I've never opened one of these before, so I don't actually know how, but it looks like it's, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that's kind of clever. So it comes up this way, and there is our X25 V 40 gig SSD, but let's have a look at the accessories that come with it first. So there's a little tray it comes with. Okay, that's very nice. My SSD rocks sticker. How can you go wrong with a sticker like that? Very cool. Okay, and then we've got a little Intel uh, product information cheat, Intel SATA solid state drive, and it unfolds to reveal that Intel recommends that this be professionally installed, blah, 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 whatever. It's really easy to install a drive. Okay, it comes with a warranty and installation uh, guide disc. Okay, so one of those little mini CDs. And then in here, we will find still more accessories. So you got some mounting screws, five of each in case you lose one. That's really nice of them to include. And Intel actually includes in their retail box a two and a half inch to three and yeah, three and a half inch drive bay adapter. So that's really nice. You actually screw the drive on to here, and then with this particular adapter, you can use the screws from the side to mount, or even at the bottom, to mount it anywhere a three and a half inch drive would go. Thank you very much, Intel. Okay, so let's get to the drive itself. So we got our little observe precautions. Be very careful when you're handling this. Wow, that is a nasty sticker. So uh, yeah, if that sticker it doesn't show obvious signs of of being broken, then you know you're getting a brand new drive. So like most of the other Intel drives, it includes a little plastic bracket around the top. That's to allow installation in notebooks that only accept the thinner drives. And then it also allows installation in notebooks that only accept the thicker drives. So you can either um, take out all four screws, remove the little plastic bracket, and then put the screws back in, or you can just leave it as is. So you can, there's not a whole lot to show you about this, okay? So you got your mounting holes on each side, okay? Once again, that's to ensure that you can mount it anywhere a two and a half inch drive would go. You've got your mounting holes on the bottom, and then you've got your standard SATA 2 interface on the back with both SATA 2 data and SATA 2 power. Thank you for checking out my quick unboxing of the Intel X25 V 40 gig drive.